lovelies, I hope you're all well. So a lot of you saw my outfit that I wore for Craftanoon Tea and I had a cutie on my t-shirt and I know a lot of you were asking about how do you layer. Now we've done lots of tutorials on layering iron on before uh, but actually it's about time we did another one using the new Easy Press too uh, and also using a cutie because it does make a beautiful t-shirt image I put him on my shoes I put him on my denim jacket uh, and he's nice and easy to do as well so the first thing we're going to do is go to images and we're just going to search for cricket and we're going to scroll down to the cuties I'm just gonna get my favorite one which is ecstatic cutie and I can then insert image I'm just going to go to text and the first thing I'm going to type is love and actually I think I want it all in capitals and do I want I love cricket or love cricket hmm but love is dot 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 and we can play with the font in a minute and then I'm going to just write Ricket. I know it sounds strange, but I've got an idea in my head. So then I'm going to go to images and I'm going to type in Cricket and I'm going to get the C and insert. Let's just play with the love is quickly and go to our fonts. Let's choose a font. Let's try Cricut Keystone because that's quite... What other Cricut ones have we got? Uh, let's, let's go with Cricut Keystone because it's a bit different. I want to change the colour on my C to... I mean it's going to be a green but we'll make it a different green because I want them to be different shades. So I just want to change the colours so I'm going to go to my colour sink and I just want to change the colour of my Ricket to a different colour uh, and actually I don't know why I came to colour sink so I could have done it without but I want to check that all my green layers are different colours of green which they are. The only other thing that I want to do is I just want to do something with my cutie. So I'm going to click on that and go back to layers and I'm then going to ungroup it. With my eyes, I want to layer green glitter iron on and white glitter iron on, but of course I can't layer them on top of each other. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to hide everything except for my green eyes and the black part of the eye. I'm then going to go in and I'm going to slice. Then remove the slice bit so I'm just left with that edge of green there and if I then bring back the white part of the eyes which is going to be glitter it's not then going to sit on my green glitter so everything will then layer as it should and I'm not going to have glitter sat on glitter. I can then bring back all my other layers, size it all up and make sure that I'm completely happy with the design. As always when working with iron on we want to come in and we want to make sure that we are mirroring all the iron on layers. You don't have to do it for images but you do have to do it for text and I just find if you mirror everything it gets you into a really good habit. We can then go to continue. I'm obviously using my maker today but if you're using your air and you're using a specialist iron on you just want to turn your dial to custom and you'll then get your browse all materials come up. So I'm going to do different types of iron on today so I'm going to have some glitter, I'm going to have some foil, I'm going to have some everyday iron on so I will be changing my cut settings in between each layer.